Hi everyone, this is Elena Kraus and welcome to another card video. In this video I'm showing you how to make this uh, two cards which are um, not really a regular size card, they're just kind of little note cards that I used to uh, put on my daughter's uh, bouquets for her teachers for Teacher Appreciation Day. So I'm using the Kindness, Kindness Cards uh, stamp and die set along with uh, Blooms and Buds stamp set and the coordinating dies. As well, I'm using my Mini Misty and the Reverse Confetti uh, ink pads. Those are dye ink pads. So they come in a bunch of colors. There's some pretty uh, colors in there. So I have um, the full col uh, collection and as well uh, there is one black. I think there are 48 colors I can remember right now plus the midnight black. So let's get started. For first, uh, first I'm picking out my colors which I want to use. So I'm deciding on several car colors that I want to use. I'm going with uh, Buttercup uh, Bellini Aqua, uh, Iced Aqua Lagoon, um, Coral and um, Flamingo, along with Olive and uh, Lime Green. So next uh, I die cut some of the elements, the sentiments from the kindness cards and I'm using the negative image to position to create that little um, kind of slot where I, I will place my die cut and stamp directly onto it. I'm using three colors. I'm using Ice Aqua, Aqua and Lagoon. So I'm just stamping first with the darkest color. I just inked the first part of the stamp and then I picked up uh, some of the color on that edge to soften the edge with a uh, microfiber uh, cloth. And then I stepped the middle, inked up the middle and stamped the middle. And then I'm going with the lightest color to the end, which was the Ice Aqua. So I'm just going to repeat the same process for all my uh, sentiments. I'll do the same with the Thank You ones too. The Thank You was a little bit easier because it consists of two parts. And as you can see here, I'm stamping twice to get nice and vibrant uh, look of that sentiment. So I'm done with the Amazing and next... Um, I'll do the thank you. I'm trying to say, I think you are amazing, or just you are amazing. Thank you, which was for my daughter's teachers. So next, I'm just stamping this thank you onto um, the paper in my Misty. So next, I'm using some microsport tape to tape that down because I have a few sentiments and I didn't want to risk for that to um, get moved. So I just taped it down and then I put my board magnet on top just in case. So I'm just repeating the same process with first going with that lagoon ink, then with the aqua and then with the ice aqua. And in uh, between all the ink layering, I'm using my microfiber cloth to pick up uh, ink from the edges to kind of soften that edge uh, the, and the transition between the colors. So next I'm doing, I'm stamping bunch of ones, I'm just going to use two for this, um, for the two teachers and I'll just save the rest for another card or when I need something very quick, uh, they'll be right there and I can whip up something pretty quickly. So I have this, and then I have one more time, or actually two more sentiments that I need to stamp, just again repeating the same thing. So I'm just doing the U and then I have, I'll have i have one more thank you to stamp. I'm just uh, putting the tank into um, the Misty for the first color and then putting U for the second and then just U back for the last, the lightest um, color which is Ice Aqua. So here are my uh, little cards. This is the die from the kindness cards that I die cut a few times. Once for each card and next I'm using Buds and Blooms stamp set. 
I'm trying to position my uh, stamps to see where I want uh, all the flowers to be as well they come with some layering stamps so next I'm just taking some uh, white cardstock I'm using Catherine Puller a premium white cardstock here and I'll position everything in the misty and stamp it I'm using the coral and flamingo for this uh, flower so I'm stamping first with coral and then I'll go with the flamingo for the second layer. So next I'm using the buttercup uh, for this um, flower. So I'm stamping twice to get nice coverage and more vibrant and saturated uh, look of uh, the image. So I'm just repeating that um, several times. Next I'm going with the Ice Aqua for this third flower. Again I'm stamping twice, uh, turning it around and stamping it again. So and I'm again repeating that. I stamp a bunch of those uh, to have for future use. So next I'm just doing the branches and um, leaves. I'm using um, olive and lime green. So this is the lime green and then for the individual leaf I'll use the olive ink pad. So I'm just turning it around and stamping those a bunch of times. As you can see here, I'm using two of each for each of the cards so that's why I'm stamping more. And I just moved it to different positions so I um, kind of make the most out of my paper. So I don't have any wasted paper. Next I'm using the olive for this individual leaf and repeating the process again with the for the rest of the cardstock panels. So next I'm going back to the flowers. I'm gonna stamp the second layer. Here I'm using the flamingo. So and I'm just um, so next for um, the yellow flower, for the buttercup uh, flower, I'm using um, Bellini ink pad. Uh, all the inks are from Reverse Confetti. And next for the Ice Aqua, I'll be using the Aqua ink pad. So which is the Reverse Confetti RC Aqua, which is darker than the Iced Aqua. So we have all of those uh, and then I'll, I have the coordinating dies. I'll just cut those apart and I die cut all my elements that I need. Next I'll stamp UR. So in order to just stamp the UR I'll do some masking. So I'm trying here to fit that sticky note. But I decided to stamp the whole sentiment onto a post-it note and then just mask uh, the part to the left. I'm kind of holding that note, uh, post-it note, so I know where till where I can mask. So in the next and last step is to arrange everything together and adhere it to my little cards. So I think this looks pretty nice. So next I'll take some adhesive and some uh, dimensionals. So I'm starting with the leaves, the ones that are go that are going on the bottom. And I'm trying to build up that a little bouquet of flowers. So I think this looks pretty good. So now I'll start adhering those one by one. And again I'm starting from the bottom and building that uh, bouquet up. So for the last elements I'm using some dimensionals. As well for the sentiments amazing and thank you to pop them up and have some a little bit more dimension. So I'm just adding little the tiny dimensionals from stamping up on the back of the sentiment and my first card is done and next is just to assemble the second one which is a little bit easier because I already know now where everything I wanted to go. So I'm just adhering those together. So 
here's the amazing and then I'll just adhere the flowers and then the other flower and then I'll pop that last flower up onto some dimensionals and adhere the thank you sentiments again using the little tiny dimensionals so you can see all these little hexagons from the dimensional so here are my cards are done and to finish it off I'm adding some mustard nouveau drops just for a little bit of extra detail so I think that I overdid it but um, I think it looks good so I let it dry and here are the finished cards Thank you so much for stopping by today. Uh, don't forget to uh, like this video if you like it, uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my, visit my blog and subscribe to it for more inspiration and more ideas. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!